we're going to skip over now and go to our next section. So again, you're in your main Lofty, you go to Settings, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go to Smart Plans. Now once we do the Smart Plans, we're going to show you how to find the ones that, the easiest ones and the, you know, the holiday ones, things like that, that work really easy, and then the ones that will work for you. Now you can also create your own Smart Plans, like this, this user Richard has created his own Open House campaign. So then we'll do a video on how to do Smart Plans based on you know what you need and what you kind of desire and what you're looking for so that'll be a good way to go through and get you set up like that so the way you use the smart plan so at the top first you see it has your smart plan which is like his own ones that he has set and the ones are turned on and then he has team smart plans which are good to go and they're ready to roll these are for if you have any team leads see none of these are turned on because they don't use team leads and then it has the library all right, so if you don't have any smart plans, you have a bunch of crazy ones, this is how you can kind of check it out, and then you can look. And then here at the bottom, you can see it has your smart plan report. So as you start loading people, it's going to show you how many are active, how many applied, total emails sent, you know, open rate, how many you've only two emails sent that are both opened, and you can kind of check everything. So it lets you break down your smart plan when you have them active in your clients. In a different video, when we go over the people part and we talk about the clients, how to apply smart plans, how to do all that, that'll be a different video. We're trying to keep it nice and easy, short, quick videos to understand it. So again, you want to add your smart plans in the correct one. So you can see right here, he has a buyer one, he has a seller one. If he has a renter, this converts them to a buyer. And then he also has a holiday one. And then he had a custom one that he built himself. So say you don't have the right ones and you want to add the correct ones that you like, like I consider... When I say the correct ones, I consider the buyer, seller, buyer, lead, which turns renters into buyers. So you're going to go here to library. You're going to click drip campaign, and let's say we're going to do the buyer one first. So again, library, drip campaign, buyer. You're going to go down here past these curator. If you're paying for AI, artificial intelligence, Lofty has a really great AI built into it. Then these would be the ones you could work. You would use because the AI would do that. It's like $30 a month or $38 a month or something like that to get AI. It depends. It helps you get a much higher conversion rate if you have a lot of leads. If you only do a couple leads a week um, into your Lofty, it probably might not be worth it to you. But if you do many, many leads, a couple hundred a month, like you should be pushing for to get good closings, then at that point, you probably want to look into getting AI. We're just going to go to that. But right here, past the curator, you see right here on the far right side, and it says duration. You want this first one, buyer lead first time drip. And you go to the far right and you click on that button right there, which shows import. <laughs> now, once I click it and it opens up, the first thing I see where it says target lead type, it says buyer, rent, or other. This is for, for buyers, a buyer lead. So I'm going to turn off renter or other and leave it only for buyer. Okay, so buyer lead, first time buyer drip for buyers. I'm going to go to trigger. And then I want to trigger any, this time means when the, this turns on automatically when you have a, one of these actions. So for this one, because it's a new buyer lead coming in, you're going to go to lead created. And then all you have to do is hit save. So again, you just click lead created, save, and there it's, that's it. It's that simple. And then you want to just hit auto apply. And then boom, it turns on. And now because you set the trigger, the auto apply can turn on. So again, we change the setting, we change it only to buyer, we do the trigger, and the actions just show you what happens every day. So if you wanted to change any of the templates, you can go through and change the templates if you'd like and change the messages and see what it says here in the actions. But once you've done the setting and the trigger, if you're just happy that you have one, you would just hit save. Now he already has this, so when I hit save, it's going to say you have a duplicate. So you hit save and then yes, and then once you go back, It'll pop up and you'll see it under my smart plans, buyer lead first time, first time drip. Okay, this is a great one. It says first time buyer lead, but it's good for all buyers, convincing them to go through and buy a home. It goes over, it goes over a year, which is a great time period. So people definitely have a time to get the conversion in. So that's the buyer one. You do the same thing for seller. You go to library, drip campaign, seller. So again, library, drip campaign, seller. Then you're going to go under the curator ones. 
And then right here, seller lead long-term drip, 377 days. You're going to go to the far right, and you're going to click on that little arrow like I just did. It's going to open up, and then it's going to pop up like this. Now, for the target lead type down here at the bottom, I only want seller. There's other ones for buyer or seller if you want to do all that. You only have that. Now, I don't. before I forget, what you can do here is I can auto-pause it when the lead reaches out, which means once this lead replies back like, yes, I'm interested, leave me alone, no, stop, this campaign auto-pauses. And I think that's a good idea. It's up to you and your marketing. And then if you want to see once it auto-pauses, you can move it to your pipeline. You can see right here, you can move it to segment. You can add a tag, whatever you want to do if it if it does that. Or you can pause when other things change. All right, so this is a good idea to auto-pause it when they reply because they're active now. At that point, you should be reaching out to your leads. So you have your seller. You have your, you know, the sellers have changed only to seller. The trigger is the same, lead created, and then save. And then you would hit auto-apply here, and then you save it. And that's it. And then once you save it, it'll say, you sure? Yes, you want to save it. And then when you do that and you save it, it's going to be right back at the top here under My Smart Plans. And there we go. Seller lead, buyer lead. Now for the renter to buyer one, you do the same thing again. Library, drip campaign, renter. Just like you did for buyer seller, you go to renter. Go under curator right here. Renter convert to buyer. I'm going to go across. And I'm going to hit that add button. I'm going to change it to it's only a renter, just like we changed the other one. Because it was only a buyer. We're going to auto pause when they reply if you want to. And then we're going to trigger when the lead is created and say, is that easy? You're just clicking those three steps. You're going to go here, change it, go to trigger, click the first box, yes. And then once you're in trigger on the top right, you're going to auto apply right here. And that's simple. I went that way a little bit faster because it's literally only four clicks. So you should be able to, once you add the other ones, you should kind of be in the rhythm now and be kind of understanding. And I'm going to go back and then you'll see right here under my smart plans again, here's the renter one. Now, if you want to add the holiday cards, you go to library, and then you're going to go to holiday greetings, and then you would just pick the holiday greetings you want to send out. So let's say I want to do a Christmas card. I'm going to go right here and do that one right there. This is for everybody. The trigger's already set for a specific date. Every date on Christmas, this happens. That's all I have to do. You don't have to worry about auto applying. And then right here, so it says, you know, to auto apply, but it already has a trigger. So this is great. And if you want to bug it, you hit the, the edit button. See, it happens on trip on this day. It looks good. And then you're good. And then I'm going to have my settings ready to go. It's for everybody. It's a Christmas card. I save it. And then boom, it's ready to go. And now this is in my smart plans. So now I have my Valentine card going out. And I have my Christmas card going out. And they're ready to go. And these ones only go. There's no real auto apply. They only go out. Now, if I have one in here and I want to change it and I forget, like, oh, I don't know if I like this one. Maybe I don't want this one in here. If you go to the far right and click on this wheel, and you can either remove it or you can hit edit. And when you edit, it lets you change the trigger, it lets you go to setting, lets you do all kinds of stuff. And then you just resave whatever trigger you want. And then you can go through and do that. And then again, I'm in my smart plan. So this way you can set up all those basic campaigns you want that you can apply them to your clients. Now, if you go back here to library at the top, you can also, you know, drip campaigns, workflow, automation, AI, assist, any one of these, you can see there's a lot of different campaigns. I kept it simple and just showed you the drip campaigns. But if you wanted to AI assist for buyers, you can see right here, these are the ones that are built in for AI for buyer. This is a buyer renter. And then you can ask the buyer to do certain things like, hey, do you need financing? And the AI would talk to your buyer about getting ready for financing, getting pre-approved, things like that. It's a great, um, Lofty has a great AI, it does a lot of great things. And then you can see it has all kinds of really cool stuff. You can do anniversary, which is your closing day anniversary of their home. You can do a Christmas, like a card when their birthday happens. All this cool stuff. When their transaction closing happens, there's all kinds of really neat stuff in here that you can do. It just depends on how you want to set up your system. Like I showed you, I recommend doing at least a buyer one a seller one and a renter to buyer conversion unless you want to do renters. Then you can just turn on a regular renter one. And then if you want to make your own campaign, so like this we did for open house, that'll be a different video I'll have done how to build your video, how to build your own campaigns. Hopefully that was helpful. Talk to you soon.